Hi hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, today's video is kind of like a weekend bonus video. No fishing in it, just kind of, uh, heck, I don't even know what you classify this as. Other, I guess. I'm gonna be riding a bicycle in this video. Totally off brand from the fishing that you all tune in to see. But, uh, you know, this is just what we're doing on today's video. So for those of you that have stuck around, and according to YouTube analytics, not many of you do pass the 30 second mark. It's amazing. People click on the video 30, within 30 seconds. It's like a nosedive, people clicking off. I guess people can't tolerate watching me for more than a few seconds. But for those of you that stuck around, you all, man, you're like the elite 1% in my eyes. Top superior intellect i appreciate the hell out of you and so thanks for sticking with me thanks for supporting the channel i appreciate you watching all the fishing videos and i appreciate you watching me ride a bicycle this evening because again that's what we're about to do so i have a new toy here it's i say it's new i've had it a couple months now i've been supposed to do this video for a while but this is a velo wave ranger electric bike velowavebikes.com sent me this bike. This is kind of one of those opportunities as a YouTuber, your email blows up daily. Companies want to offer you products and or money in exchange for prostituting yourself all over the internet and getting them sales, right? And so one of the opportunities that showed up in my inbox was for this electric bicycle, which is a big ticket item. This is a $1,700 bike. And I know nothing about electric bikes. I haven't ridden a bicycle since I was a kid, but I thought, well, hell, that seems pretty cool. Maybe I might like an electric bike, and worst case scenario, if I don't, just 100% being honest with you here, it's, it's an expensive item that I could very easily resell and turn a nice profit for my time. So I thought, you know what, I'm walking away a winner. No matter how this situation goes, if I like it, great. I got me a free bike. If I don't, well, I'm going to do a short video and, uh, you know, sell it and, and turn a nice profit. So anyway, I get this bike and it shows up in a, a fairly large package come by FedEx and it comes mostly assembled, which is uh, pretty good for me because I'm not the most mechanically inclined person. And this bike, really all I had to do, I had to put on the front tire, I had to put on the handlebars and I had to put on the pedals and it was good to go. They also include the tools in the box there which was very helpful because these allen wrenches like putting on the handlebars and stuff with allen wrenches you know odd size i don't know if i had it or not but again it's included so that's great so now i have this bike put together and i'm tasked now with doing a video on a bicycle and i don't know how the hell to do that i'm not a bicycle channel i know nothing about bikes so if you have tuned in hoping to get a technical review of this velo wave ranger bike you are out of luck i am sorry uh what i can do though hopefully and maybe it might be of some value to those of you who are potentially interested in this bike or the three or four people that are still regular viewers of my channel and still watching to this point maybe i can approach this from the standpoint of somebody that is well me you know, somebody who had a bicycle as a child and grew up and haven't been on one in years. I mean, the last time I rode a bicycle was probably 11, 12, maybe 13 years old. I'm 40 now. So you're talking 27, 28 years since I had been on a bike prior to getting this. And there's that old saying, it's like riding a bike, you know, and when something's supposed to be easy and just muscle memory kicks in and whatnot. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, especially down in the nether regions, the taint area, a little sore when you first get on a bike after having not been on one in 20 plus years. But this has been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed having this thing. Um, haven't rode it much lately. I had the car wreck. I had a flat tire on it. I went out of town. I tweaked my back and had some sciatica. I haven't ridden it a great deal lately. But we about to hop on it and take it for a spin. And I'm going to try to answer the layperson questions. Somebody, again, like me, knows not a damn thing about bikes. How does it work? How long does the battery last? How fast does it go? You know, questions like that. Basic stuff that uh, somebody like me, I don't know the answers to. So let me just give you a quick walkthrough of this bike. And then we're going to hop on it and take off. So 
again, electric bicycle, the motor is back here. It is powered by a lithium battery that is in this compartment. Now I'm holding this camera with uh, one hand. I can't get this out, but there's a lever here. You slide, battery pops out. You can take it in and charge it, or you can plug it in just like it is and charge it outside or your garage or whatever. There's some keys on this side so that you can lock that compartment so people can't just steal the battery if you go somewhere or if you're like me and you got you know trashy neighbors that potentially steal stuff. So um, anyway, that's how it is powered and operated. Up here on your screen or on the handlebars, excuse me if I get my words out, there's a display. You power it on and after a couple seconds, you've got your screen here that gives you some information. You've got a speedometer, you've got your battery life indicator, tell you how much battery you have left. You have your range, I've put 18.2 miles on this, just riding around the neighborhood. And this here is your, your speed, this, or your, um, I'll get it out here directly, folks. Again, I am not a bicycle review channel. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But this is your level of assistance that the bike will give you when you're pedaling. You can go up to five different levels just by adjusting up or down with this plus or minus. And basically what that does is, is if you are pedaling and maybe you're going up an incline or you're tired, the motor will assist you in turning the pedals so it's not as taxing on your body. I'll be 100% real with you though, I never use that. I am just electric only when I go around the neighborhood. There is a switch here, a throttle. You push this down with your thumb and the motor just drives for you. And that is how I roll. I am that lazy. I'm not even turning the pedals with my legs. I'm just throttle only. It's pretty fast. Um, website says 20 miles an hour. I find it about 18, 19 miles an hour on flat surfaces. However, you're going down a hill, buddy, it will fly. Evil Knievel style. Back of the, pro or the neighborhood over here, I'm going to take you to it. Steep hill. I've hit 33 miles an hour. I mean, again, full on Evil Knievel. The only thing I'm missing is a ramp going down that hill. It will fly. Allegedly, if you pedal as fast as you can with the motor, you can hit 28 miles an hour on flat surfaces. Again, I don't know. I don't, I don't use the pedals. It has speeds over here. Like you can adjust like seven different speeds by turning this handlebar if you just want to ride it like a normal bike. But, um, uh, it's an electric bike. Who the hell is using this like a normal bike? I mean, it's, it has a throttle. It has a motor. I don't know who's doing that. Maybe the real bicyclers out there. I'm not one of those people. So anyway, enough of me talking. I've been going on a few minutes. I'm going to hop on this bike. We're going for a ride. I'm going to edit out part of my neighborhood because one, a lot of it is kind of about every other house is trashy. I'm going to edit some of that out. So it's not a complete embarrassment to me, especially the neighbors. These people over here beside me, folks, I got a fence coming next week they've got people living there now they've put an rv over here now they got their friends living here in an rv they turned my property into a, a, a trailer park over here we're about to block them out to, i'm gonna i'm gonna try to edit some of this crap out best i can and also too i don't want people figuring out where the hell i live because some of you might show up there's some weirdos on the internet y'all there's a true weirdo and it's not necessarily the people that don't like you that's weird some of you's out there that do like me some y'all a little weird too just full disclosure being honest with you some of you's out there a little bit i don't want people showing up here in my yard knocking on my door and stuff but anyway i'm rambling on let's get on this bike let's take it for a spin come with me let's go all right y'all here we go so i'm just pedaling now and instantly on level one i can feel the electric assist take over we're just going down the driveway here y'all can look at my neighbor across the street He's the one neighbor I got that's worth a damn. He keeps his yard looking nice. 15 years I've lived here, we've never spoken, but we always wave at each other. He's a good fella. If, I, if all my neighbors were like him, this is the nicer part of the neighborhood here. I'm not totally embarrassed by these people. The other part of the neighborhood though, whoa, y'all don't want to see it. Rover's gonna get us over there. All right, here we go. Evil Knievel style, y'all. Evil Knievel. We flying, y'all. I don't know if you can see the speedometer. We just hit 30. Here we go. 31, 32. 
I'm leaning over trying to get it in the video. That's probably messing with my wind resistance here. I've seen it hit 32. There's squirrel. I gotta start slowing down now. That's fun, y'all. That's fun right there. So here I go back up this hill now. And again, I'm just using electric only, holding down the throttle with my hand. This part of the hill, fairly slight incline. The bike does really well with it. I'm hitting 18 miles an hour here. Probably, you know, around the top speed of the bike. It's not until I get on up to the top of this hill where it's a really steep incline that the motor bogs down and I have to pedal with the motor, kind of give it some assistance. Again, I feel like I'm helping the bike out. I'm playing, I'm a team player doing my part. We'll get on up here. I'll show you how far it slows down. Okay, y'all, so here we go. This is where it gets a lot steeper, a lot steeper incline, and this is where the motor kind of struggles a little bit. I'm 10 miles an hour, nine miles an hour. Now I start pedaling, kind of help the motor out, but I'm slowing down here to about eight miles an hour on that steepest incline. So the motor kind of struggles with that, uh, with the inclines. I don't know the exact degree of incline, I'm not good at geometry. I got basic math skills. I can do two plus two. But once you get on level areas or uh, you know lesser inclines, this thing will fly. And y'all seen what it could do going down a hill. I mean, 32 miles an hour. Evil Knievel, man. All right. Home sweet home. My own little piece of paradise over here, y'all. Again, don't look to the left over here. Got a dang, look at this. Go ahead and look. You got the dang RV. It's a mess. All right, y'all. So there was a quick tour, at least through part of my neighborhood that's not a complete dumpster fire. But the bike here, you know, again, a lot of fun. Men, no effort really at all. I mean, just holding down the dang throttle and it just takes you, it does bog down on the really steep hills. If you have a really mountainous area, uh, I don't know if other electric bikes are better in that department or not. This is the only one I've ever had, only one I've ever ridden, but I do have to pedal with it. Again, it's virtually no effort because of the pedal assist, but it does give the motor that extra few miles an hour to get you on up those steeper sections of the hill. As far as the battery goes, I haven't charged the battery uh, in probably a month. I don't remember what we started at. It looks like we're at 65% now. Um, you know, long-term range of this battery, hell, I couldn't tell you. Again, I don't, I'm not a long distance rider on this thing. What I have done is pretty much just right now, evening hours, I'll take a few laps around the neighborhood just to kind of have some fun, relax a little bit, you know, 15, 20 minute ride. I typically use, you know, 10% or so of the battery during that time. So for my needs, plenty enough battery, never gonna run out. If you're looking to do long distance rides, well, probably should watch some, <laughs> some real review videos on this, on this type of bike uh, to find that out. But uh, again, super easy assembly. I can't tell you anything about long-term durability of this particular brand because I've just not had it that long. Um, fairly comfortable ride, I guess, for bicycle. The taint area, a little sore first time you ride it. Um, not gonna <laughs> lie, but over time you get used to it. The only thing I have added, I did put on a rear view mirror so I can see cars coming behind me. That's one of them $20 Amazon jobs. Brakes work good. I mean, going down that hill 30 plus miles an hour there, I can stop in a reasonable amount of time. Um, if a possum or deer runs out in front of me, it's game over, but I can come to a stop before I get to the stop sign. Uh, so, you know, if you're thinking about these bikes, velowavebikes.com, I'll have the link to this particular model down in the video description. They do have a coupon code for me, $200 off, word kayak catfish there. Uh, there's a promo code on their website all the time though for $200 off, so I don't know why they gave me a code doesn't really make sense but nevertheless uh velowavebikes.com super thankful man you know again just one of, i get so many 
awesome things happen to me because of this YouTube channel. From meeting cool people, going on cool experiences, and getting stuff like this to show up to my door free of charge. So uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Again, I initially thought I might sell it, take the profits, but um, again, I kind of like the thing. So I'm gonna be keeping it, riding it around my neighborhood and um, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do with it. So again, y'all, uh, if you've stuck with me, I don't know how long this video probably is, 10, 15 minutes, and you're a regular viewer, thanks, man y'all the real troopers i mean y'all will truly watch anything i put out appreciate the hell out of you if you're somebody that stumbled on this video because of this bike and you were looking for some real information on it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not a bike review channel i'm just a fisherman that had a cool opportunity and i like it and so yeah anyway y'all that's how it is but we're gonna wrap it up i'm gonna go eat some dinner Next video, back to fishing, I promise. This is probably the last off-brand, just me talking video I'll do this year, I promise. So anyway, fishing in the next one, see you then.